coconut crab. He lives in a little coconut. Hi. So this is a mod pack about building your very own zoo. It claims to be adventure and building focused, which is super fun. There are over 300 creatures to collect and each have their own personalized information on how you can find them and some real life info about them. And it's really nice. There's light questing elements to help you guide you through your adventure and also with building with the pack. Welcome to the zoo. This pack is all about building your very own zoo that can house every mob the pack has to offer. This quest book will guide you through the necessary steps to complete your zoo. Let's begin with an introduction. While you're starting your regular Minecraft experience, we'll introduce you to the features of this pack. And we get rewards. These are all the animals that we can get. Once we touch grass, we will get a sprout that can go on your head and a lead. You can also pin it. Oh, and it's on the side. Look at that. Welcome to the zoo, zero percent. And it's pinned. I guess we'll just go for it. I am curious in that map in the corner what that big circle is. I usually don't play with maps on, which I feel like I should get into the habit of doing. Is it the mushroom over there? It looks like a whole mushroom village of sorts there's also so many things on the map <laughs> here's our inventory i'm gonna leave the minecraft music on in the background at least for this usually i would turn it off but i'm i'm feeling it i'm feeling it today i think we need to go and check out whatever's over there what is that is that a little turtle stop it i have no words <gasps> We made an advancement and I'm terrified. I'm terrified. What? What? Leave me alone! I didn't do anything. Oh, there's so many. There's so many. So it's occupied. Crazy. Crazy concept. I think we need like at least a sword then. I will say I'm quite impressed. This is just me personally, but whenever I start a new Minecraft world, I swear I have a curse where I spawn on an island like almost every time. This doesn't look to be an island, which is quite honestly insane. At the very least, let's craft a nice little sword. I want to know how you get the animals. Like, we got some fish. We saw a turtle earlier. There's a little star by the crafting table. Does that mean it was new? Keep in mind, this is a whole mod pack. This isn't just one mod. This is like a lot. Typically, I make my own mod packs, so I don't actually really know what's in here. So when you make your own mod packs, you know every single mod that you put in usually whoa you can see through <laughs> a hollow birch log i do appreciate that i have all the information at the top here i really want to go back in there but i don't feel very prepared what do you want me to do while you're starting your regular minecraft experience we'll introduce you to the features of this pack you have a, your progression here which is very nice oh wow look at this so they're all organized we have our forest birds i just click birds not in particular for any reason and i guess you unlock them where were the turtles freshwater fish in here or myths and legends i wonder if i have to like right click them i always think that i can just jump into things and like figure things out and then regret not doing research before I did more than I usually do. I read the 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 website. If I right click you, do you do anything? Oh, okay. I just have to go near them. Quest complete. Catfish. So we found a catfish. Let's see what that actually means, though. How do I get to my quests? There's a sort button. Bless. Sorry. <laughs> I'm getting distracted. I'm getting distracted. Oh, it's night. Okay. Well. Oh, that's a full on bear, right there. That's a bear. All right, let's figure out this quest thing, and then when it's morning, we'll go and head out and see what that actually entails. Oh, quest book. Right, right, right. We got a little arrow here. Crops of the wild. I don't know what I did. We got some rice. Here we go. Catfish. An enclosure? Oh, here we go. We got some info. Found in freshwater habitats worldwide, including rivers, lakes, and ponds. So these, I believe we have like actual real life info on all the animals, which is super cool. Benthic, I think that says. Dwellers often found near the bottom of bodies of water. Catfish are known for their remarkable sensory abilities. They possess taste buds not only 
only in their mouths, but also across their entire bodies, allowing them to detect food even in murky waters where visibility is low. This unique adaptation helps them- what was that noise? This unique adaptation helps them locate prey and navigate their environment effectively. I feel so knowledgeable about catfish now. It says in enclosure, so I believe we'll be able to put them in there because there's nothing in my inventory, so. All right, I've been mining for a little bit. It's quite dark. I apologize for that. I hear a spider and I also found whatever is down there. I'm a little bit nervous, so I made sure to hit record. What, what did we find? I haven't been able to see anything. Genuinely, what is this? Oh no, I am such a nervous caver too. So this is not very helpful. This actually stresses me out. I have no armor. I haven't found any iron, so I've been a little bit screwed. I can't make a water bucket. I don't think I can get down there. I might have to return later, but we'll keep this in mind. This will be the mystery that we <laughs> come back to and figure out what is going on because here's our map. Uh, I believe we can see underground with it. Like, where are we? What is this? It looks like a whole dungeon, I think, that we encountered. I set a waypoint so we'll be able to come back. This is a little bit much, a little bit too much for me. We will return. I'm heading back up. That's terrifying, but... Oh, jeez. I was gonna say, it looks like it's morning, but I'm a little bit nervous with this bear. There's a whole bear outside, and I'm a little bit spookied. He's been hanging out while I cave, which, like, it's fine. He can, he can hang out. I'm just nervous he's gonna attack. Are you nice? I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. I think you have to get close to them to unlock them. Oh, I need more food. Uh, I'm gonna get situated and then we'll probably go and unlock more of these fish. But yeah, I need to eat. <laughs> this place is really cool, but like so scary. Let's, let's collect some wood, get some apples ideally and heal up. Oh, look at that little fish over there. He is so cute. I'm having a little bit of trouble getting food. I wanna unlock all the fishies. Oh, it's a little koi. Let's see, what are you? Largemouth bass. They are so precious. Little babies. Are you guys koi as well? Let's not, let's not <laughs> drown today. Oh, they are all koi. Let's have a little look. In Japanese culture, koi fish are regarded as symbols of luck, prosperity, and perseverance, and they are often associated with themes of endurance and overcoming adversity. Additionally, koi fish are known for their social behavior and intelligence, forming close-knit communities within ponds and displaying remarkable memory and learning abilities. I don't know what the little check- oh, it just means you've gotten rewards. Perfect, so it shows if you've collected your rewards which we have. We've gotten quite a bit of rice. I wonder if we can also get the salmon. Salmon boy! Yes we do! Perfect. Here's the salmon. Some salmon species even return to the exact river or stream where they were born using their keen sense of smell to navigate. All right, I'm gonna get some food. Is that getting night already? Oh! <gasps> I found a bed. That's all I've ever wanted. Oh, there's a door. Oops. I know it wouldn't be very kind if I stole everything, but... A blobfish? Oh my goodness. Is there any food though? That is the main thing I need to know. I'm not gonna be eating a blobfish though. He can stay. I will be putting on my nice chain mail. Oh, they're so scary. I don't know what they are or who they are, but they do not like me. They're like piglins, but mushroom piglins. A weird crossbreed. Oh, baby crow. Oh, actually, I did find a crow. At the very least, I am very happy that we have a bed. That really changes everything, because I don't want to go through another night of complete terror. Oh, there's coal right there, which I probably need. It is attached to the house. Do we just break into the houses from the back? I mean, they don't need it, do they? Another bed. Oh, we got a really good one. Lots of enchantment books. This is risky business when you only have three and a half hearts. I think we can get backpacks actually, let me see. You can! Oh, that is exactly what I need. My inventory is way too full. Do I keep the real mushroom or <laughs> do I throw that out? The player heads are just so cute. I can't. 
Uh oh, they hear me. They know I'm in here. They are not happy. <laughs> I mean, I am stealing their stuff. We will go up there in a second. What does this say? A mushroom is the reproductive structure produced by some fungi. It is somewhat like a fruit of a plant, except that the seeds it produces are in fact millions of microscopic spores that form in the gills or pores underneath the mushroom's cap. We're learning about mushrooms. Mushrooms are fungi. They belong in the kingdom of their own, separate from plants and animals. Fungi differ from plants and animals in their own way they obtain their nutrients. Generally, plants make their food using the sun's energy, photosynthesis, while animals eat, then internally digest their food. Fungi do neither. Oh, there's so much here. How big is this book? So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your mushroom. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous spores. That is so funny. May the mushroom of hope fill you with all spore and peace as you feed fungi so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the holy mushroom. That is hilarious. I need to take my mushroom bible. Give me my mushroom bible. That's a really cute mushroom as well that I really want. I'm a little bit nervous. Uh, does this link into the big one? Where am I? No, I'm over here. I feel like I'm making bad decisions. It is time to be brave. Why is he riding a cow? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> They're like having a whole like party or something. Oh, there's a spawner in the middle. Maybe I need to wear gold. Maybe that's a thing like like you know how in the nether you have to wear gold so the piglins don't destroy you? I wonder if it's like a similar situation. Stop. Rainbow mushroom. Stop. These are so cute. I don't have enough room though. I'm in someone's house and they don't know I'm in here. Oh no. <laughs> Is it an Enderman's house? Oh, we we need the we need the mushroom. I'd say we already have a chest plate. Let's do pants. Hopefully, I don't regret that decision. And they leave me alone. Are you guys friendly? I don't think so. I don't think they're friendly. I'm gonna take that as a big no. I'm wearing gold. So rude. I'm gonna take your stuff then. Not that I already haven't, but I'm gonna take more stuff. Oh, <gasps> bread! That's all I've ever needed. No way. That's pretty good. I want to go in there so bad, but I don't think I'm equipped to do that yet. I have a full on diamond sword now. I will take it. Oh, we got another um, mushroom Bible. I think we hit most of them. Why do they have to be so aggressive? This place is so beautiful. So, so pretty. Like it's so cozy in here. Ooh, honeycomb. I do want that. Protection, which is always good to have. I might have to get rid of the mushrooms, but I love them. Ooh, bird. You a uh, blue jay? Blue Jay! Oh, what a cutie. All right, I've set a waypoint to our mushroom village over there. We will explore that. Dealing with them. So we will part ways for now, but we will be back. A bee! Oh, I love the bees. There we go. We got our bee. We will definitely need to make some kind of flower gar- What are you? flower garden. Are you a pill bug? A pill bug. As I was saying, we're gonna have to make a whole garden with like bees and flowers and pill bugs, I guess. That's a later project. Right now, did you see that? I need to log you. Let me log you. A flying fish checks out. I want the clam. <laughs> I feel like I have such a hoarder's mentality right now. I, oh, what do I get rid of? I want the clam. We can make another furnace, but we can't make another clam. Right now, I want to figure out how we complete this quest. I feel like it really should not be that difficult, but also we got a little sidetracked, so... Fair enough. Oh, hermit crab. Stop, stop. Coconut crab. He lives in a little coconut. Hi. This is Coco, everyone. It is official. He's kind of big, actually. Look at this big boy. Yeah. You're so cute. Oh, I love him. I'm going to steal the shell. Please don't get mad at me. Don't be offended. It's um for science. All right. Bye, Coco. I hope we meet again. I will be returning. This place is so cute. Did I get the bread? <laughs> did I do it? I did it. Well, we know how to do it now. <laughs> uh, a backpack. Something's bugging me. Wait, what did I have to do? A farmer's brim and a backpack. 
from the legendary house of Insecta. You're kidding me. I think we just had to find a bug. If there are giant tarantulas, I am going to, well, there are. I am so afraid of spiders. Like it's kind of bad. Funny that this is brought up because literally today there was one on my desk torturing me. Let's just say he is gone now. Oh, there's so many arachnid jumping. No, a cave centipede. I don't want to be learning about any of these. I need this backpack. Let's make room for the backpack because that's what we need right now. Oh, I saw the seagull fly up there. Okay, we'll move those for now. Oh, you stole my fish! That was mine! Oh, rude. He ate my fish. My hat! Okay, how do I put my backpack on? I have so much more room now. Oh, this is a blessing. All I had to do was find a bee. Let's put all our mushrooms in here, first of all. Very important. Mr. Blobfish will be going in there as well. Perfect. Can I put this on? Oh, I can. I am still wearing my my armor, technically. This this is a look. If you, if you're asking me, I look like a professional. Look at me. <laughs> There's two cocos. I'm so obsessed with them. Oh wait wait wait. Before we need to collect our our rewards, we got some cabbage for the bee. They live in highly organized colonies, with each bee performing a specific role within the hive. And our pill bug. They are essential role in the ecosystem. Nutrient cycling by breaking down organic matter and contributing to the soil health. What do we get? What do we get? A golden apple? Don't mind if we do. Aquafauna. Coconut crabs are the largest land-dwelling anthropods with individual reaching sizes of up to three feet which is one meter, in leg span and wing as much as nine pounds. These are big boys, like I said. Coconut crab picture. We have a cocoa picture. Oh, hold on. This is dangerous. Coconut crab picture. What do I do with him? Do I put him in an item frame? We have our own little cocoa. I don't think I can place him anywhere, but look at him. He's beautiful. We'll find him an item frame and then we'll be able to keep him forever. Oh, Coco, I'm your biggest fan, truthfully. We also got another picture of the flying fish. Helps them evade predators and cover long distances efficiently. <laughs> We got new slime. Oh, and we also get rewards here. Pointed dripstone. Oh, so we can get pictures of all of the, the animals if we want. Are there dinosaurs? What are these? This looks like its own thing we will have to look into. Myths and legends. These are terrifying. We never got that turtle, actually. I forgot about him. <laughs> <laughs> what a cute advancement. Do we get these as well? A summer hat and a slingshot. We've gotten so many already. I guess we kind of skipped through the tutorial. Welcome to my world. <laughs> Throughout this world, you'll discover many different creatures. They're organized in here as seven different categories. Land, bird, reptiles and amphibians, insects and land invertebrates, aquafauna, paleofauna, myths and legends. It's your job to capture as many of these animals as you can and make an enclosure closure for them in your zoo. I guess, yeah, this is kind of the tutorial. <laughs> Don't worry, we just took a detour. How do I capture animals? There are several methods of transporting animals to get them back to your zoo. Cages, jars, and buckets. These handy devices can be used to capture small animals. Leads. These can be used to lead most passive and some neutral mobs. And vine lassos. These can be used on all mobs, regardless if they're passive, neutral, or hostile. We got some boots, some leather boots. Where do I put the animals? This is primarily a building and animal collection pack that'll help you along to keep track of each animal that you bring to your zoo. It is then your job to build an enclosure either just for that animal or by making a joint exhibit that has different animals that all get along. It's important to consider natural habitat and diet when building an enclosure for them. I like getting all the awards. Honey cookie and iron knife. Look at us go. A lot of exploring will be done. Be prepared. When you're not out in the world exploring, you might want to generate chunks in advance using chunky. That is a whole thing. We need an iron ingot and then we'll get a spyglass. Oh, what a cutie. Oh, no way. And you can choose what you slingshot. That's really cool. I'm not going to kill those guys. I suppose we need to go caving. Oh! <gasps> 
Oh, no way. It's just a hat. I got a penguin hat. Oh, I've never looked cuter. Look at him. I know it's really dark, but there's like a tortoise of some sort down there. There's also... Okay, well, there were zombies. I need to figure out a safe way to get down. I would love to be able to tell you what that is. Am I going to be fighting ghosts? This is not what I signed up for. I'm just here for some iron, truthfully. That's all I want. I'm not a mining girly. I will say, I don't love mining. <sighs> okay, let's let's do this. I'm going down for the tortoise, and that is all. That ghost is so creepy. Please go away. <laughs> feel accomplished at the very least. That ghost is so creepy. I don't know what it does. Where'd the turtle go? Here for the tortoise, here for the tortoise. That's all, that's all. Do I kill him? Oh. I don't think we can. It's so creepy. I am such a nervous caver. Like, I really avoid it as much as possible. And this... It's just more difficult. I usually will have friends come with me and have them kind of lead because this is scary. I hear a witch. I want that. Where did I see that? Oh, shoot. Oh, I thought I was gonna die. Where is she? I want what's ever in there. That's what I want. Girl, leave me alone. Oh, I have a slingshot. I forgot that I had that. I just threw my crafting table away. Well, alrighty. There she is. What was that about? Stop. There's so many. Is this a, oh, what is it called? Mine shaft? What are you? It's so dark. I can't see nothing. My anxi anxiety is high right now. Oh, wait, we need to make it into an ingot. Wonderful. While we still have light, let's accept this. Oh, I don't know if I'll have a lot of room, though. Make it work. It may be important to name animals in your zoo. This can help you to grow attached to them and help certain mobs not despawn. Better safe than sorry. I will take the levels. I don't know if I have room for the name tag. All right, let's collect this and head out. Perfect. Let's pick you up and do a little bit of cheating. Now, better than the caves, I will say. Better than the caves. This was where the bear was, so I am going this way. Coco? Are you here? I think Coco was over this way. Which one of you is Coco? You don't look like Coco. Coco! Guess what? We are gonna name you. I think I need an anvil though. That's probably why we need the iron. Coco, I will be back for you. Oh, there's so many Cocos. I love you, Coco. Actually, let's check up on... Yeah, what are you? Amethyst shard. I'll grab that in a bit. This brings us to the end of the introductory chapter. Please look at the following chapters for more detailed guides on things you can find in the world, which animals you can tame, how to go about building your zoo, and each of the zoological discovery sections. There may also be some hidden secrets and achievements to find out about as well. We get a cage, a vine lasso, and a lead. I need some room. Let's make a chest real quick and then we will accept. We did it! We completed the first starting out progression. Coco, you're coming home with me. That's what's happening. Let's test out all of these different ways of getting you home. Bestie, go back in the water. You're gonna die. Yeah, what'd you think was gonna... Coco, please don't be dumb like that. Can I put you in the cage? Oh, I can't lead you either. Come on, Coco, I need you to behave. Are you making fun of me? Don't make fun of me. I'm trying my best. Can I really just not take you? Coco, you need to come home. Coco, come home. Don't look at me like that. I can't even lead you. Coco, come home. <gasps> Coco, we did it. Well, I don't know what I'm gonna do with you, but I guess you're coming with me. We gotta find a spot to like make a zoo. Just pretend that nothing happened. Now we need to find you a place to stay. I will be removing you from your natural habitat so you can stay in my zoo, but as long as you don't think too hard about it, everything will be fine.